Thank you all. Thank you very much for that warm welcome. I'm pleased to be uh, back in New York City. New York City is a unique symbol of America's creativity, the most powerful and most promising in the world. The business pages of American newspapers should not read like a scandal sheet. The vast majority of businessmen and women are honest. They do right by their employees and their shareholders. They do not cut ethical corners, and their work helps create an economy which is the envy of the world. Yet high-profile acts of deception have shaken people's trust. Our universities attract the talent of the world to sow chaos. My commitment, first we will use the full weight of the law to expose and root out corruption. My administration will do everything in our power to end the days of cooking the books, and shading the truth, and breaking our laws. Today, by executive order, I create a new corporate fraud task force headed by the Deputy Attorney General, which will target major accounting fraud and other criminal activity in corporate finance. The task force will function as a financial crimes SWAT team, overseeing the investigation of corporate abusers and bringing them to account. Bold, well-considered reforms should demand integrity. President, my desire, I, in fact, uh, uh, we sent a letter to the President urging him to ask our colleagues not to to us, it's not enough to talk about accountability. You have to act to ensure it. The test for the president today is not whether he shares the outrage that the workers and shareholders in these companies feel. I have no doubt that he does. The question is whether he is willing to take action on that outrage and support the legislation which will actually help solve the problem. The most recent statements from the administration are not encouraging. We believe that to truly take on corporate fraud, you need to do two things. A strong, independent oversight board to audit the auditors and real restrictions on auditor conflict of interest. If you don't support those, you don't support real reform. We're going to stay on this issue. We're going to get it done, regardless of how long it takes. This is the legislature.